Welcome to Tidbit Tuesday. Well, last week, our focus was on how to sustain your plans, which is building block number four, assessing and adjusting. This is such an important step and is why you often hear me say, learning how to assess and adjust your plans are the secret sauce to sustaining your goals. Now, the reason for this is because it ensures that you are taking the right actions that are leading to the results that you want. And that's why this week I invited Debbie Piscochel, a neuroscience and high performance expert, to offer her best tip on how to move forward with the adjustments that you just made. Debbie is president of Optimal Edge Performance, a data-driven high performance consultancy leverages her expertise in neuroscience to coach clients to reach peak levels of achievement. With an electrical engineering background, a psychology degree, and extensive training in neuroscience, her unique combination of science and emotional acumen leads her to work with some of the business world's highest performers. Debbie trained with coaches who focus on the head game of Olympians, World Cup champions, and U.S. Special Forces. And as a TEDx and Disrupt HR speaker, writer for Naval Institute, Medium, and Thrive Global, she most recently also founded Edge Women Speakers. And so please help me in welcoming Debbie. Thank you, Coach Becky. My clients are high achievers and few have achieved amazing things on that first try. Greatness is built on a series of attempts you can learn from, course correct, and attack again. Perhaps you've heard the stories of great baseball players like Alex Rodriguez, number five in the home run record books, but also number five in strikeouts. Great success comes with many attempts and unfortunately our fair share of failures. The first critical action is to let go of that past failure, which can be the hardest part. Imagine you miss a goal shot playing soccer. You need to rebound without even 15 seconds, or you better find another sport. What is the best way to let go of those past failures? Let me bring a little brain science. Research shows that we can only pay full attention to one thing at a time, so we need to remove every other attention thief and concentrate 100% on our potential success. As with most processes involving the brain, there can be unique details for each of us, but the best place to start is to erase it. Imagine reliving that last attempt, like a movie on a big screen. You have a big, giant pink pearl eraser, or an eraser from Photoshop, and erase that entire screen while it's playing. Feel free to throw your whole body into it if it makes it easier. And notice if maybe you're saying something to yourself as you erase, like, delete, delete, delete. Notice how you broke that connection in your mind to that failure. As a follower of Coach Becky, you have a good idea of how to fire up for your next attempt. With your clean slate now, you have all the room to make that happen. If you'd like to learn more about Optimal Edge Performance and the services provided, please feel free to follow me on LinkedIn or Instagram, or reach out to me directly at debbie at optimal-ep.com. Back to you, Coach Becky. Debbie, thank you so much. What a terrific tip, and we couldn't agree more. Now, builders, if you would like to reach out to Debbie and learn about Optimal Edge Performance, then for your convenience, I provided for you her contact information located right down in the comments below. Well, that is your Tidbit Tuesday. I am Coach Becky, and this is Build Your Best You, your five-step building block process to rebuild your healthy lifestyle. Now, you don't want to miss out on any future tips from us, so you think you know what to do, but please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.